Why, hello there! What's going on guys, Soul here and welcome back to my story mode. So, you already have an idea of what we're most likely going to be talking about today. Ever since our transition to 3D, we've come to an era where customization in Pokemon games has become a crucial thing. We've come to expect it for almost every game now, even the remix. So with this current era of Pokemon, not only are we able to change the clothes that the characters wear, but their skin color as well. And you know what? That is nothing but progression. So this might just be my personal opinion, but with the last few games that we've had, it's been a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of customization. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, we were pretty much at the height of the mechanic, and then we hit absolute rock bottom with the remakes, and then we hit yet another high point with Pokemon Legends. And while I do appreciate Legends and all of the options that it gave us to choose from, I have to say it wasn't peak for me only because it was limited to a certain era of clothing. And that's cool, nothing wrong with that, that's just not my personal style of clothing, that's nothing that I would wear in this day and age, so I didn't really resonate with a lot of the options as much, but they did give us a lot and they were still pretty cool. And now we're finally moving into a new generation of Pokemon with a brand new engine and brand new looking characters. And much like a lot of you, I myself can't help but wonder, what is the customization going to be like this time around? And I'm currently wondering that now more than ever because the characters that we have are absolutely dripless. I don't care if those are school uniforms. That looks ridiculous, bro. <laughs> So for this game in particular, I'm really going in hoping that the customization options are strong and I do have a couple of wishes that I'd like to talk about today. So why don't we talk about the customization possibilities in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. The first thing that I'd like to have a conversation about is the possibilities of height and skin colors. I think it's about time we got the power to be able to choose specifics here. Don't get it twisted, there's a lot of things that I do appreciate about being able to customize our characters. However, I think it's about time that Game Freak has come to understand that not every 10 year old kid in these games should be having the exact same height and skin color. Now maybe this is just a me thing, but me personally, I'm standing at a solid 6 feet flat bro. If y'all are gonna sit there and force me to play as a 10 year old kid, at least let me tower over all the other little losers who I'm gonna be whooping in battle. Jokes aside though, it's not the worst thing in the world to be at the same exact eye level as every other trainer, but it would be nice to at least have a little bit of variety, you know? But as far as things that are more crucial, we gotta talk about them skin color options. Me and all of my friends who play Pokemon are most definitely in agreement that, while it's nice that we have options at all, they aren't nearly as in-depth as we would've liked. They've given us a decent variety of options and I'm not gonna knock that or anything, but I'm a black man and I can say with certainty that I am definitely darker than the darkest option that they have. So at this point we're pretty much just settling for the closest that we can get because we don't really have any other choice. During this current era, most games that offer customizable characters have like a little bar that you can set a specific color tone to. You can change it at will. Now I'm not asking for some crazy over the top fantasy style settings. I'm not trying to make myself green or orange or something like that. I'm just saying that maybe sometime down the line it would be nice to get some kind of customization for the skin color that allows me to get something closer to my actual skin tone. Again, appreciate that we can do this at all, but we can do a little more. It's been long enough to where we could probably upgrade that, I think. Moving along from that, I want to talk about something a little more general. More clothing options. With 8th gen, we were really starting to pick up speed. We were able to change our shirts, we were able to change the jackets we were wearing over those shirts, we were able to change our pants, our socks, our shoes, or even our entire outfits altogether. And on top of that, our hats and backpacks. That was sick. To this day, it's hard to argue that 8th gen has some of the best customization options in the entire series. And Legends is honestly a very close second. So for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, all I'm asking is that all of what we had gets built upon. Sure, jackets and stuff are nice, but I want vests and windbreakers. For hats, I want something like beanies. For shirts, I want button-ups or just flannels. Or maybe even shirts with pockets. I want basketball shorts. Maybe some ankle socks, some tube socks. Maybe I want some puffy jackets. Etc. Etc. I could go on and on for days about what they have not included yet that I would like to see in this new generation. And try not to be too stingy on what we can equip when we get to the first store that has access to the clothing. A good chunk of us don't even actually look all that different until we get to the like 4th or 5th gym badge. 
on one hand, I understand the whole withholding things until you've progressed further so that they have incentive to actually continue. It makes sense in theory. But in reality, it sounds kind of ridiculous when a shopkeeper is just like, oh no, you can't get beanies until at least your fourth gym badge. Doesn't that sound ridiculous? I don't know, maybe that's just another niche little me thing, but overall I would prefer it if they weren't so stingy with the clothes that they give us when we first get to that shop. I think it would be nice to actually have some real options, and if those options were to continue to grow throughout the story, then that would be cool too, but don't give us such limited options right from the get-go, you know? That's all I'm asking. And also, for the most part, you guys have been okay with mixing and matching certain apparels, so keep that up. And you know what else would really open up the clothing options? If you guys weren't so stingy with the whole gender norms thing. The guys have certain outfits, and the girls have certain outfits, and that's pretty much it. It's very strict. But come on, guys. Really? Animal Crossing has been ahead of its time for ages now, and we have always been able to wear whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted, regardless of gender. And I feel like it's about time Pokemon kinda eases into that norm a little bit. All I'm saying is, if me and the homies wanna rock some skirts, then we should be able to rock some skirts. That's all I'm saying, bro. Enough said. Moving aside from that, the next thing we should probably talk about is just access to more accessories. Accessories help to make a person's apparel just a tad more unique, and plenty of people enjoy adding little things to themselves to stand out a bit. And for whatever reason, this has yet to apply to a lot of games, Pokemon especially. Now again, this is Pokemon, which is geared towards a more younger audience, and the character in of itself is portrayed as a younger person. So I'm not saying we need anything crazy like neck tattoos or even nose rings. So in this situation, I'm asking for something as simple as like, earrings. Just regular ass earrings. And I do think that that's more than reasonable. A lot of people get their ears pierced well before the age of 10. Aside from that though, maybe another simple thing would be something like, I don't know, a face mask. A character from one of my favorite video game series of all time wears a face mask as a regular apparel. That's just a part of his outfit. This is just how the character was designed, by the way. This was not a pandemic related thing. He just wears that to pull together his drip. Nothing more, nothing less. And you know what? I think that that's fire. I like when characters get creative like that. Maybe we should have some characters wearing headbands and stuff like that. Why can't we wear headbands? Just saying bro, if y'all look outside the window, you could see everybody and their mothers wearing something very different from one another. There is not one person on this earth wearing the exact same thing, ever. Don't quote me on that, I'm not actually 100% sure on the science of that, but I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna run with it. <laughs> Another accessory that I would like added to this little list is wrist wear. People wear things like bracelets and watches on their wrist almost every damn day. I guess in 8th gen it probably would have gotten in the way considering the fact that they had to wear those wristbands to activate Gigantamaxing and stuff like that, and that's fine, but in general, going forward, we should probably be able to wear something on our wrist for god's sakes. Fun fact about me, I wear rubber bracelets almost every damn day. Don't ask me why I do it, I just do. They're fun. Leave me alone. Anyway, just saying, that's another little way that I would love to reflect myself through my character with. Oh, and another crucial accessory thing? Necklaces. That's probably the most crucial one of them all. Like, I'm thinking back to all of the Pokemon games where we've had customization. How have we not been able to put on necklaces yet? Am I crazy? Am I ridiculous? I don't know, you tell me. Point is, unless I'm just remembering incorrectly, of all the things that we should be able to wear, necklaces is a prime time thing. Like, come on now. And the last thing is, just keep in mind that people like to wear accessories on their clothing too. For example, they like to have chains on their pockets. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Those edgy chains that hang off the right side or left side of your pockets. Why do we not have that? I love edgy. Give me that. I would absolutely wear that. Come on, guys. Long story short, the customization game could go a very long way if y'all just have fun with it. Just let people dress the way that they want. Trust me, it's little things like that that go a long way. And speaking of little things that can go a long way, the last thing that I feel that I should probably bring up in this video is hairstyles. People have been doing crazy things with their hair for ages now. Gaming in general has struggled to keep up with unique hairstyle options, but you know what? At least there's a lot of games out there that are trying. Pokemon is barely one of them. Even in the most recent Pokemon games with the most hairstyle options, we have like 
like 10 to 12 on a good day. And that's not even referring to the unique hairstyles of different cultures. As a black man, I have like two options in Pokemon games. I'm either shaved or like bald, or I have a straight up afro. That's it. And saying three options right now was actually pretty generous because if I'm remembering correctly, in Pokemon Legends, an afro wasn't even an option. They did add dreads, but come on now, we have more than three hairstyles, guys. All I'm saying is, Game Freak, do a quick Google search on some black hairstyles, some Latino hairstyles, and things like that. You guys could find some very unique things to add to your game to make people feel just a little bit more unique. And I feel like that's not that much to ask. But I'm gonna stop myself right here because I could argue about this until my heart is straight up purple. So for the most part, that just about wraps up all of my thoughts regarding the customization possibilities for Generation 9. Now I know for a fact that there's plenty of things that I didn't touch up on when it comes to the custom character situation in Pokemon, one of which being the power to actually make decisions and career changes, but we gotta talk one thing at a time because that's a whole different discussion that we've already had that we could probably have again later down the line because for some reason it still just hasn't happened, but we'll get to that another day. Right now, I'm pretty much just praying for the bare minimum, because I really want bracelets. Will it ever appear? That completely depends on if they give us another gimmick that requires the trainer to actually wear something on their hand or wrist, which has happened with literally every single gimmick so far. So most likely no, but a man can pray. But whatever. Anyway, whoa, 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 hey, stop, hold on, your dog is choking. Please go get him. Oh my gosh. Yeah, make him cough, make him cough. Is he good? What'd he hurl up? Not chocolate, right? Oh. Oh god, is that the mic? Ugh, might wanna grab some hand sanitizer or something to wipe that down. It's gross. How'd he fit that in his mouth? But, after you clean that, why don't you go ahead and tell me what you guys think about the customization situation in Pokemon? <laughs> Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Do you agree with a lot of what I've talked about today? Do you have a lot of your own opinions that I didn't refer to? Do you like my ideas? Do you hate them? Tell me everything you think in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I am always down there with you guys. But with that, I bid you adieu. I would like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and comment and consider subscribing for more content just like this if you haven't already. But with that, I'm out. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good-ass care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!